<laughs> lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first try. Try it. Afternoon, people. Just a bit of fun off camera there because I said we've got a fool named after the wife and Plum. You're Probably so cheeky. Named after the wife. <laughs> anyway, no. A um, couple of sales from Brew York. The reason I'm doing two in one, we managed to get hold of this again. We haven't had it for ages. Um, this is Goose Willis, uh, Gooseberry Full Sour. This was our first ever sours. That it was, yes. It's where the love came from, and I managed to grab a couple of cans. That comes in at 5.3%. This is plum cake, <laughs> which is a Polish plum cake sour. This comes in at a staggering 8%. This is a new one. I've never tried that. Um, cool, 8%. <clears throat> a lot of the sours are, as you know. I say, from our friends from Brew York, that was last year was possibly Michelle's favourite I, I brewery. I do highly rate them. I think um, really I'm not going to do the read-ups there's no point because the video will go on and on, on and on yeah. and you'll be like switching it off before we've even said anything i know how it works so <laughs> we'll get on board and let's see what we get okay we have reviewed this oh, some time ago it's, it's been a while hasn't it yours should be thicker than mine but i don't know i, don't know, I should have opened that for you <laughs> I'm not a gentleman. <laughs> I'm not very strong on my right hand side. A few things at the moment. She can hold a pint pot, so I suppose there's nothing else to worry about. So, so this is not a smoothie sour. This is a proper old school sour. Most of them, as you know, unfiltered, unpasteurised. She's trying to look professional on the camera. Get on the right here. I'll get it right. I'll get a shot of these while they're lively. Well, if yours gets lively like mine. But yeah, as I say, I've never tried. Um, oh, hold on, it's like the phone's doing one now. I've never tried that one. I believe that plum cake, if I get the glass nice and straight, is actually a new one. I think. So there you go. I'm doing one separate in case anything goes wrong. So, totally different than the colours, but we did, we did cut it. A plum is a bit of a giveaway there, isn't it? Yeah, this, this is. This is it's looking good. It's quite thick, isn't it? Oh, it, it has, I'm reading on it's, the back here about oats, and that's what I can smell. I can smell oats from this. Well, we'll do that first, because we haven't reviewed it, and then yeah. we'll both go on that. It's not a face-off or anything, because they're totally different Yeah, sounds. totally, totally different. It's just I just brought that into it, because I really want to drink it, and there's no point in this. I am getting the fruitiness from this, but I'm also getting that real smell of oats. It's like smelling porridge. It is, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I'm not getting the plum. It isn't massively fruity, thick but like a smoothie, but it has got that haziness to it. It has. It's, it's, it's got a bit. It's got a bit. Of, it's a bit of weight there. I think going on. I don't know. I'm sure, that camera's down right. I don't know why that is. You see what I mean? <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. That's good. <laughs> I'm going to end up causing more trouble next time. Yeah, I was going to say. Right. Going to fall off. I'll let you go first. Um, <clears throat> so we do like. Our sours, as it's probably known by now. Mm. This is something totally different. Yeah. Polish plum cake sour. That's one of their brew dog, a uh, brew york. Sorry, <laughs> it does smell weird. It 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 tastes a bit as well. It's really strange. Blimey. What is that? You have definitely got the plum fruitiness in there. I'm getting that. I'm getting that leftover as is the taste that I'm left with. Right, I'm mouth. getting something like like raisin or something. Raisin something. I've got to say, in a nutshell, that is not for me. If you had I a bowl, try... of, if you had a bowl of porridge and you pop some raisins in it, <laughs> yeah, this... it is. That, 
that is what this is like. I love trying different beers, but it's just, it's a really weird aftertaste as well. Um, nah, no can do. It's that plummy yeah. kind of taste, which, yeah, you're right, is very similar to raisins as well. And it is given, that is what it's leaving you with the and aftertaste. The aftertaste as well. Yeah. It's, for me, it's not got the sour bite. Now, let's move on to this one. Let's forget that about that one. You're not tasting the 8%. No, you're not tasting the 8%, no. it's irrelevant. I'm not tasting it again in a way, so I'm not tasting nothing. <laughs> so, let's go on to Goose Willis here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You get your gooseberries straight away. As you saw when I took the photo, obviously it's been left a while, so the head has died down a bit. You get your gooseberries on this. This is what it is. We had this on Draft in London. It started a, a love, and it has become a love of sour, apart from the plum cake. Yeah, I don't know what we'll make of that. It's odd. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> For me, it still defines what a sour beer should be. Yeah. And now, we've moved on and we've upped the ante a lot of yeah. times with sours now, but that is still delivering. Ever since the five years ago, we first tried that. It is accident. a beer, but it has got the fruity taste. It has what got that sour gooseberry. bite to it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just dynamic. It really that is so good. It's top, 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 top draw. Um, I remember we both scored it a 10. That's always going to be a 10. It began my love of sour beers. I thought now that might be better than that. How silly was I? This <laughs> is just lovely, isn't it? It's so Absolutely first quenching. Beautiful. And then you get that lovely yeah. sour bite as well. Because... We saw we saw the sign, didn't we? Um, the tap handle. And it, it, is that a beer? What on earth? I was like, oh, that's probably oh. horrible. <laughs> Wasn't yeah, I? I did think it know. was going to be horrible. Um, we just had no concept of what it was. And the guy let's try a sample, and I was just like, wow, I love that. Yep, 2017. GC World Balance Seller. So this is only if you do see this and you're interested in trying it, mm. it's only a seasonal release now unfortunately. Um it's just saying that yeah, yeah, two thousand seventeen originally it was the it's just it delivers on everything. The mouthfeel yeah. is absolutely excellent. The gooseberry and now I've had gooseberry drinks before. They can you can get it wrong with gooseberry and it's bloody horrible. Yeah. It was like like the gooseberry's got to be gooseberry, not sour, if that makes sense when it's a sour beer, but that gooseberry's got to be just right, and they've got it, so it just flows down your mouth, the fruit, all the way through, the carbonation's excellent, and you just get hit with... It actually feels like a beer. Yeah. It doesn't feel like a smoothie. Like a fruit or, beer. Uh, it feels like a fruit beer, and you've yeah. got that sour kick to it. And For me, lovely. that's what a sour beer should be like. That's absolutely excellent. That's <laughs> it not... still gets a 10. Unfortunately... Yep. This for me. I'm not going to write it. I just don't it, like it. it. It's, it's not for it's me, not unfortunately. It's not my personal preference. I think if you like those type of flavours, you might actually enjoy that because it's quite nicely balanced. That's why I was still drinking it afterwards. Yeah, you can have it. Feel free. No, I don't really want much more. It's not really my cup of tea. But um, that's unfortunate. But we can't like all of them. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. It's got the thickness and that. Yeah, I if you, don't if you like, like those flavours. You are going to like that. It's balanced out. Nicely. I don't mind blum sometimes, but I don't like that. That, that raisiny taste in it for me is not good. But, you know, you can't like it's them the all. It's the oats, actually, that do it. It could well be the oats, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not that keen then. It's like I say, it's got the texture, as Michelle said. And yeah. I, hopefully it does well. You know, normally I wouldn't say too much bad, but you put I, that I think that I think that's personal preference. Yeah. What they've tried to do, what they're saying on the can, is basically what you're getting, and it is nicely balanced out the flavours in there. No, They're just, just not the personally flavours that I like. Just not for us. So, we're still on a 10, and that, uh, you know, if you like it, give it a go. You'll probably, you probably like it. What can I say? Thanks for watching, <laughs> but stand and deliver. Oh, it yes. still has. Thanks. Bonjour.